Hello, and thank you for joining me today for this on-demand training class. I'm calling this video the Female Entrepreneur Online Business Toolkit because in this video, I'm going to share my best recommendations for all the tools, hardware, software, and web applications that I recommend for those who are interested in starting an online business. I get many, many questions from members of my community online about the tools I use for various aspects of my business and what I recommend for those who want to build an online business or bring a physical business online to market and promote. So I've put all this information together to create this comprehensive video that will touch on many different aspects of business and different types of businesses as well. I recommend taking the time to watch this full video because although I will break things down into categories to make it easier to follow along, especially if you are someone new to online business, you might be surprised to learn about all the different tools I use and recommend. As I like to say, you don't know what you don't know, so keep an open mind because you might learn things you didn't expect. Also, I've intentionally designed this class to answer all of the questions I get asked about software and hardware that I use for different aspects of my business. And it's not uncommon for me to receive questions about things that have been answered. So again, I'd recommend watching the entire video. Finally, don't forget to sign up for the free download. I've put together a PDF resource guide and checklist that you can use and refer back to as you are getting things started with your business because you absolutely won't need to have all of those tools on day one, but it's great to have a reference of what you might need as you proceed building your brand and business online. Again, it is free of course, and it will be the first link in the description box below. So feel free to pause this video for a moment, use that link and get your checklist. And while you're watching, the download will be emailed directly to you as well. Now, to ensure you know what you are getting from this time with me today, let's outline what tools we will cover. I've organized the almost three dozen tools we'll discuss today into five categories. Number one is hardware, which covers computers, data storage, photo and video equipment, and office accessories. Software covers word processing, photo and video editing, and business applications. Web applications, which will cover website building, hosting, plugins, and email marketing. Business planning and collaboration covers project management tools, video conferencing, and team management as well. And finally, business information and strategy will cover branding, platform development, content creation, advertising, and marketing, and business and income building. Now, I'm sure many of you watching will be members of my community, but in case you are a new viewer, I'll quickly introduce myself. Hello, I'm Alexis, but I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. I'm an online entrepreneur who designs and sells productivity tools, strategies, and skills to help you manifest success with less stress. In 2014, I left my secure career at a Fortune 50 to run my own online business full-time and replaced my income in six months. Since then, it has been my mission to help other women take back control of their time and manifest the life they want to live. For many of the women I serve in my community, entrepreneurship and online business play a significant role in giving them time and location freedom to pursue more important and meaningful aspects of their lives like motherhood, family, travel, spirituality, and community service. If you are new, I would love to see you again, so please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Trenchcoat. Today's video is going to be filled with tools that I personally use, love, and recommend as an online business owner. Now, I don't expect that each of you will need everything I show, and of course, there are different options for different products at alternate price points, but these are the essentials I think you should consider. Please keep in mind, I don't recommend tools lightly. I have significant reasons why I recommend each product. However, I always encourage people to do their own research when it comes to purchasing decisions. 
Now, I'm so glad I have the chance to share this information with you because although I am personally a techie kind of gal and I love researching new tools and technology, I know this topic can be intimidating for others. Many people get stressed out because they believe they need the right tools to get started building a successful business. And while that is true to some extent, the first point I want to make is that you don't need to have everything in terms of tools or software to get started. Even if you don't have the best tools or exactly what I use or recommend, that does not mean you can't start a wildly successful business. You absolutely can. Keep this in mind because we're going to come back to this towards the end of the video, but I have always used the principle of iterations within my business, meaning that instead of focusing on getting things perfect right out of the gate, I focus on doing my best with what I have and then gradually building and refining as I make progress. When you evaluate every successful business around today, you can literally see how the concept of iterations has played out as well. So remember, perfection does not exist, so focus on progress, not perfection. So now, on to the hardware tools. So I currently use and recommend a 13-inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. I currently am using a 2018 model. Now, I love this because it is a powerful and portable laptop that is incredibly easy to use, especially for those who aren't tech savvy. I also find that through my 10 years of experience using Macs, that they tend to have a longer lifespan than a PC computer. So that is why I definitely love to recommend them to other entrepreneurs because they are just so easy to use and they really are a great investment. Even though you're going to be paying a little bit more than the standard PC for a MacBook, you are going to have a great tool that is going to have enough power and functionality to last you a much longer period of time. I also love Macs because they're bundled with valuable software that comes standard and is very useful for online businesses. So for all of those reasons and so much more, the 13-inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar from 2018 is what I use and personally recommend. Now, I also recommend a Western Digital portable external hard drive of at least one terabyte of data. So this is an external portable hard drive. Now you never want to rely on your computer hard drive alone to store data for your business. It's essential to back up. When using memory intensive software programs, it's a best practice to work off of an external hard drive just in case the program has an error and crashes the computer, then you have little to no risk of losing your internal computer system and hard drive because you've been working off of the external hard drive. So really having an external hard drive protects the investment of your computer and your business overall because you have very important business information that you absolutely want to make sure is stored and backed up properly. Next is a digital camera, and this is the camera I use, the Canon 80D DSLR. So this is an ideal camera for business and social media use. It can be used for photography and videography, so you can create stunning visual assets for your brand. I also recommend with this camera the 24 millimeter f2.8 lens for video. That's the lens that I use for video. And the 50 millimeter f1.8 lens for photography. That is the lens that I tend to use for my still photographs. I also use and recommend the SanDisk SD cards. I know there's lots of brands out there, but I really use and recommend those SanDisk SD cards that are either the Extreme or the Ultra. They are a very great, reliable model of SD card. And I also personally use a Manfrotto tripod. That is the brand Manfrotto. They're very durable, professional level tripods easy to use for a beginner business owner, but also great for as your business expands and you want to have something durable that can last. Now, I also recommend the Blue Yeti USB microphone. So this is perfect for podcasting and other audio recordings that you might need to make as a business owner. It has a great plug and play design, which is again, very easy to use, and it produces very high quality professional grade audio. 
Now in terms of an office printer, I use an HP OfficeJet Pro all-in-one wireless printer. This is an essential home office business tool for anyone who is running their own business and just needs that sort of basic office printer all-in-one machine. So depending on your business, you might also require a more specific style of printer, but as a default, a printer scanner combo is a great tool to have and very useful for businesses. Also, I love and recommend the HP OfficeJet lineup because they have very affordable ink cartridges that last a very long time. I think I only replace my ink about every year or even a little bit longer than that. So it is very affordable and very long lasting. Also, I just want to note that I haven't actually listed out a specific model of the OfficeJet. I use a older model that is several years old and unavailable at this point, but I would just say do your research and look at the models of OfficeJet that fit your needs and maybe size requirements and pricing because they always sell numerous different models of the OfficeJet. So just pick which works for you. In my experience, they are all very reliable. Okay, so now let's talk about a smartphone. I use an Apple iPhone. And this is something I'm recommending because social media is an essential component to online marketing. And so owning an iPhone or other smartphone device is crucial to access those platforms. Now, I personally use an iPhone 8 Plus, which isn't the latest and greatest model. And I honestly don't believe you always need to have the latest and greatest. I don't think it's always necessary because most content creation is actually done outside of my phone. And then my phone is used simply for posting to and checking on social accounts. So that great Canon 80D DSLR camera is what I would use to film a video or take a picture that I would then transfer to my phone to then upload to Instagram. But I'm not really using my phone so much for content creation as I am for just being able to to access different social media platforms, which is gonna be crucial as an online business owner. Next, let's talk about software tools. So first category of software tools are documents. So business documents, day-to-day -day in and outs of a business. I would definitely recommend from among a number of different very good suites of word processing software. So you may be familiar with Microsoft Office, Apple iWork, OpenOffice, or Google Docs. These are all applications for word processing, spreadsheets, and slide creation. So Microsoft Office has Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Apple iWork, which is personally what I use, is again bundled in my MacBook Pro, has Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. And then Open Office is a free download that you can get online um, of a kind of like a lesser version of Microsoft Office, but very similar. And of course, Google also has a suite of documents that also do word processing, spreadsheets, and slide creation. So use whatever you have available to you. They are all about the same. So um, anything that you have access to, whatever works for your computer is right for you. Then I also highly recommend for PDF documents to have Adobe Reader. Again, this is something that is a free download off of Adobe's website. So if you are using PDFs or need to open them for business purposes, if someone sends you a contract or a PDF or something like that, um, you have the ability to actually interact with that PDF and use it, do what you need to do with it, sign it, et cetera, using Adobe Reader. Now, another software tool that I absolutely love, have been using for years, and also highly recommend is an application called Scrivener. So this is an application for organizing writing of all types. Now, as a business owner, you will be writing everything from content, descriptions, sales pages, marketing, emails, etc. And so you'll need to keep track of all of these ideas and everything that you write, which is why I've been using Scrivener to house all of my writings before they actually get formatted or published. So I write everything in Scrivener. It is great for organizing different types of writing 
so I can keep all of my blog posts together, all of my YouTube scripts together, all of my emails together, and I can even create folders and subfolders to really get things organized and drilled down exactly where they need to be organized. Um, so I highly recommend Scrivener for that purpose. I know we just talked about a few different word processors like Microsoft Word and Apple's Pages, but really when it comes to the amount of writing and how highly organized your writing really needs to be as a business owner, I would recommend a software tool like Scrivener. Now, it also includes tools that help you easily create ebooks and other common documents, which may be helpful for some businesses as well. So if you are someone who is going to be writing a lot, perhaps you're going to be creating workbooks or manuals or actual books, it is a great idea to have a tool like Scrivener as well for those purposes. Next comes Adobe Creative Cloud. So this is the industry standard for professional multimedia editing and design. So as you can see kind of here in the image, there are actually a whole bunch of applications that come bundled with Adobe Creative Cloud, but not every application is useful for all businesses. But I would say that the three most popular are Photoshop, which is for photo editing and marketing graphics. That is the application I use to edit my photos, create graphics, etc. InDesign, which is for professional printed documents. So in my business, I create a lot of printables and I create a lot of inserts for planners and such. So I use InDesign. That is the professional program that I use for any documents that you intend to be printed and need to be printed at a professional quality. And finally is Adobe Illustrator. This is a graphic design tool that is great for illustration. So again, this is something that I use and I highly recommend. Again, not every application is going to be useful for all businesses, but I would say that in terms of the people that I know and interact with, those are probably the three most popular. There are others, um, but then we're getting into very specialized types of businesses more or less. Um, so these are the three I think you should be aware of. Next, I use Final Cut Pro 10 for my professional video editing for my YouTube videos and other videos. So this is one of the most popular and powerful video editing applications that's used from anywhere from novices to professionals. And I would like to mention that this actually is a program that is only available for Apple computers. So again, another reason why making the investment into a Mac is probably a great idea on a business perspective. Now again, Final Cut Pro is one of those applications that's not necessary for every business owner, but if you're using video marketing, I would say that it's worth it. For me, definitely as someone who is on YouTube, absolutely using Final Cut Pro gives me the ability to professionally edit my videos and make them just look so polished and clean. Now, I also want to recommend Pixel Film Studios for those of you who might be interested in using Final Cut because they create very useful themes and video elements to help you create professional videos without getting too technical on video editing. One of the great things about Final Cut Pro is that it is powerful enough to give you the ability to create some amazing things and elements in videos. However, for many of us, that takes a lot of time and skill and specialization that I don't think the normal business owner is willing to put into their business, especially if they're not like a video focused business. So essentially Pixel Film Studios kind of fills the gap there and actually has things that you can purchase that are elements that work with Final Cut that help you to create stunning visuals and stunning video effects that you would see in professional videography. Next, let's talk about website tools. So when it comes to website tools, I'm talking about tools for creating your own self-hosted website. So the first step to building a self-hosted website is to choose a host and to purchase a domain name or URL. There are many popular web host platforms, some that also include website builders like Squarespace and Wix, but I use bluehost.com to host my website. You can purchase a domain from Bluehost or you can transfer an existing domain name to them. I usually purchase my domains from GoDaddy.com, but it doesn't really matter where you buy them from. Wherever you have your URL currently, you can transfer it to Bluehost and purchase a web hosting package and start building your website from there. 
Now, in terms of the website builder that I use, I use and recommend WordPress.org. This is the industry standard for a professional website building. I personally use WordPress.org. Keep in mind here, WordPress.org, not WordPress.com. And I highly recommend it. I've been using it for years, ever since I went self-hosted. Now, you don't need to know how to code a website from scratch to use WordPress. I use and recommend themes from a company called bluechic.com that makes it easy to customize a beautiful website. And WordPress.org also has an amazing collection of free or affordable plugins to help you get all the functionality you need for your site. So you don't need to be a professional web builder or web developer in order to create your own beautiful and functional website that's self-hosted. You can absolutely do it using the WordPress tools and all of the different plugins and a beautifully designed theme that is easy to customize from Blue Sheik the way that I do. Next, in terms of your website, you may be like me and be someone who's interested in also adding a shop to their website. So I use the WooCommerce plugin in order to do that. If you're interested in creating your own e-commerce shop through your website, I recommend and use the free plugin called WooCommerce. This plugin is one of the many reasons I choose to use WordPress.org as opposed to other out-of-the-box web builders because WooCommerce is actually free to use. Other e-commerce platforms like Etsy, Shopify, Squarespace, etc. all cost money to use or take a percentage of your revenue from sales for using their e-commerce plugins. So I highly recommend WooCommerce for a free plugin to essentially turn your website into a shop. And that's what I use and have been using for years for my business. Next, let's talk about MailChimp. So MailChimp is a web-based email marketing platform. It integrates very well with a variety of website platforms and other tools, including WordPress, of course. It includes many valuable features that some other email platforms do not, and it is very beginner friendly. So if you're not familiar with email marketing, or perhaps you're not at that stage in your business yet, email marketing is a very important part of online business. And I know that there are very many different platforms out there that you can use to host your emails, but I use MailChimp again, because it is very in well integrated with other platforms and it also also has so many features, but it's still very easy to use. In fact, there are some features that I have in MailChimp that I know some other business friends of mine who use other web platforms, they actually pay for additional services um, that are even more costly to get some of the functionality that MailChimp has built in. So I definitely recommend and I love using MailChimp for my email marketing. It is absolutely a great value and very easy to use. And the final web tool I want to talk about is PayPal. So PayPal is the secure method of payment processing and invoicing that I use. I never see a customer's personal payment information when they check out on my shop, and they never have to enter that information directly on my site, which is wonderful. It gives me a whole level of security for them and for my own business that makes the transaction a very smooth process for me and my customers. So PayPal, again, integrates very seamlessly into my website with the WooCommerce plugin that is also free. So Again, PayPal is free to use with WooCommerce on a e-commerce website. Now, the great thing about PayPal is that users do not require an account for PayPal. I'm sure many people do have PayPal accounts, but they don't require them in order to check out from my shop. They can enter information from a credit or debit card without signing up for an account, which is wonderful. Now, with PayPal, there is a small processing fee per sale, but the name recognition that PayPal brings, plus the security that it brings and all different sorts of functionality for me as a business owner, as well as my customers, is really great. And when it comes down to it, you do have to pay for most payment processing methods anyway. So this is why I choose PayPal and I highly recommend it. It just seamlessly integrates into my website so that I can have an e-commerce shop and securely accept payments from my customers. Now let's talk about planning and collaboration tools. The first tools that I wanna talk about are for project management. So business projects that you'll be working on as a business owner. 
First of all, Asana is an excellent digital project manager for businesses and teams that is free to get started with. I've used Asana in the past, specifically when I was part of someone else's team and was doing work for another person's team, but it is a great management tool for projects and for teams as well. So I definitely recommend that if you're someone interested in a digital planning tool. And if you're a solopreneur who prefers paper planning to digital, my master planner or master project planner was designed with entrepreneurs in mind. So as part of my business, I do sell a master planner that has a calendar and project management and brainstorming tools all inside. I've recently released a master project planner that is just focused on the project planning and brainstorming and brain dumping tools in the master planner. So there are a few different options for you as well if you're someone who is more interested in using paper planning, but perhaps you have a planner that you already love and use, you can definitely integrate in the master project planner to get that project management in as well. Next, let's talk about Slack. So Slack is a great free messaging and file sharing platform for teams or entrepreneurs who occasionally work with contractors. It has both desktop and mobile applications, so you can keep in touch on the go and messages are archived and searchable so you can find information you need quickly. Essentially, Slack is a private messaging application that is really great. It's used in a lot of business settings as well, not just for entrepreneurs, um, but a lot of formal business settings as well will use Slack for their communication in their businesses between team members. And even if you're someone who right now does not have a team, if you're someone who does have any plans or might be working with a contractor, Slack is another very popular way to just interact and have all of your messages with your contractor kind of centralized in one place. So if you're hiring a designer to work on some graphics for you or a video editor to work on your video editing, most likely they are familiar with Slack and they are going to be able to just really easily connect with you through that, that application. Next, let's talk about video conferencing. So Zoom is an excellent and reliable video conferencing application that again is free to get started with. So if you're someone who needs to video conference either with team members, other business people, or perhaps you're someone who is going to be involved with interviewing either as the interviewer or the interviewee, Zoom is a very popular conferencing application that is used in the business community online now. Again, there are other services, but Zoom is free to get started with, which is great. And I do believe that it's slowly becoming a little bit more of the standard now because it is so widespread. But we also can't forget about YouTube. YouTube is another excellent and reliable way to a video conference privately with a small group or to host live webinars or workshops for free. So I personally use YouTube very often to have either video conversations with people that I might want to have recorded or to have a live webinar or workshop for students or members of my community. So yes, YouTube is a video sharing platform, but it's also integrated with Google Hangouts. And so Google gives you the ability through YouTube to have a video conference or a workshop or a webinar, giving you the ability to share screens or have multiple views, et cetera. Um, which make YouTube a very powerful business platform as well as a great social media and video sharing site. And now the final planning and collaboration tools I want to talk about revolve around file sharing. So Dropbox is a great system for file storage and sharing that I use with both desktop and mobile applications. Again, it's free to get started, but I do pay for the upgraded functionality of an annual membership that gives me additional storage capacity and some additional functionality as well. You could also use something like Google Drive, which is another great free option for sharing files, calendars, documents, etc. A lot of businesses use Google Drive to collaborate by sharing documents or to share files with their community. But honestly, either one of these are a great option for getting started with file sharing. And now for the final category, information and strategy tools. The most important thing you can have in business is information and strategy. It's the one single shortcut to business success greater than any tool. 
It's literally tapping into the knowledge and experience of others without having to put in the time and work to learn the lessons yourself. Most successful online business owners haven't reached their success alone. They have studied, researched, and taken classes or courses to give them a leg up. Of course, having this knowledge doesn't mean that you'll be successful, but it greatly increases your odds. Think about traditional education. Having an MBA doesn't guarantee you will start a successful business or become the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, but most of those CEOs and business owners do have the MBA. The thing is, an MBA isn't necessary for online entrepreneurship. It could certainly help, but why buy the farm when you just need the milk? So I have three quick questions for you before we get to our final and perhaps most value-packed information. These are questions to help you clarify if you will benefit from information and strategy tools. Question number one, have you enjoyed this video so far, learned something new, or found the content valuable? Question number two, are you new to online business marketing and strategy or looking for information on successfully marketing your business through social media and online platforms? And question number three, do you want some shortcuts and business strategy to help you make informed decisions for getting your business started or growing through digital marketing? If you said yes to all three of those questions, I have the perfect solution for you. Information and strategy tools are the only true shortcut to business success. You learn about online business either through years of experience and trial and error or by investing in information and strategy tools developed by those who have years of experience and went through all that trial and error before you. The more you know about online business and the more strategies you have in your toolbox, the easier it is to navigate the online business world successfully. The truth is all of the tools I've showed you today are great, but if you don't know how to use them in terms of business strategy, you won't get far. And I do want to see you get far. I created this training today to equip you with knowledge and information that I acquired over years of experience and trial and error on my own. The truth is the right tools help you reach goals, and I want to help you reach your online business goals. There is nothing I would love more than to help you create the online business success you desire. I would love more people in my community to live a life and run the business of their dreams. My online business has transformed my life, given me ultimate time and location freedom, and I can honestly say that I live a lifestyle that most people never will. Not because of the amount of money my business makes, but because of the freedom running my own business gives me. So think about it. What would you do with time and location freedom? This is the freedom to live anywhere in the world and be able to move or travel easily without significantly disrupting your life or career. Freedom to take care of yourself, your children, your family, your community as much as you need without seeking the approval of an employer or worrying about how you will make ends meet. Freedom to explore your personal passions and do exactly what you love every day while earning a livable income. This is the type of freedom that transforms and enriches lives, not just your own, but the lives of everyone who relies on you. So are you ready to take that next big step and invest in the tools that will truly transform your life and business? I invite you to join Empire Building, an online business course filled with the tools, strategies, and skills that built my successful business online. So what is Empire Building? It is a self-paced online business and marketing course delivered through six video modules with digital workbooks and activities designed to give you all the information you need to apply my five pillar empire building model and strategies to your own business. What does the course cover? Module one is branding, creating a cohesive brand to attract your ideal audience and stand out from the crowd. Here you'll learn how to choose the right business name, learn how to use your brand to set you apart from competitors, and learn the essential branding elements and how to choose and design those to attract the right audience for your business. Module two is communication, where you will choose exactly which platforms to use and how to use each strategically. You'll learn about all the most effective online communication platforms and how to use them for business, learn which platforms are right for your specific brand, business, and skill set, and learn the strategy for growing each platform and increasing followers authentically. 
Module three is community, which is about creating a community around your brand that effectively turns fans into paying customers. So learn how to attract your ideal audience to your brand. You'll learn how to strategically engage your audience to become fans of your work and learn how to transform your fans into super fans who help you spread the word about your brand and become paying customers for life. In module four, advertising, you'll learn to spread the word about your brand and business through low or no cost marketing that you can do yourself. Here, you're gonna learn how to perform market research to understand your ideal audience and what products or services they want to purchase, to find your brand and business messaging so that you are communicating effectively about your business and products to the right audience, and you'll learn how to use content marketing to grow your influence and brand while effectively selling at the same time. In module number five, income, you're going to develop products and or services based on your business goals and diversify your income streams to increase profits. So you're going to learn how to identify and develop the business model for your business, learn how to decide and diversify different income streams for your business, and learn how to develop effective plans and projects to grow your business strategically over time. Finally, in module number six, business administration, you're going to learn the essential processes of building, organizing, and running a legitimate and successful online business. So you will learn the tenets of proper business planning and to set business goals. You'll learn how to manage business finances to clearly understand your business income and expenses and learn how to create systems for your business to help you save time and to properly manage your team. So what tools come with Empire Building? Empire Building comes with six video modules and six PDF workbooks that provide comprehensive but straightforward information on developing your online business. You'll receive 30 plus instructional worksheets that will walk you through creating your individual business plan and assets and over a dozen extra resources that cover a variety of topics like design, website building, and other specific strategy and skills to help you build your business without having to pay thousands of dollars to outsource work. Now, Empire Building also comes with some great bonus content as well, and these are the bonuses you're going to receive when you join Empire Building today. So first are some workbooks, and the first is creating click-worthy headlines. So this is all about creating titles that are going to capture the attention of your ideal audience to get you more viewers on your content and ultimately to your brand and business. The next workbook is Pricing Strategies, which basically teaches you the ins and outs of how to price products and services if you're someone who's unsure where to be pricing your items for your brand and business. Next is Email List Building. It really teaches you the ins and outs of email list building and getting started building your email list. Who, For those of you who are at that stage in your brand or are interested in getting started with email list building. And finally, you will receive the bonus workbook, Writing Your Business Plan. Although the entirety of Empire Building is a complete activity in creating your business, many people also find it helpful to write a formal business plan. So that is the fourth and final bonus workbook that you'll receive. But of course, that's not all of the bonus content you'll receive. There are also some bonus video masterclasses. The first is a blogging masterclass, which covers all of the ins and outs of getting started with blogging. Now, again, I'd like to mention that in the second module of Empire Building, which is all about communication, we talk about different communication methods and the strategies for each, how to use them, get started, and decide if they're right for you. And of course, blogging is included in that module as well, but I've broken out a specific masterclass, a video masterclass, where I present the ins and outs of blogging and a lot more of the systems that go into the process of blogging. The second bonus video masterclass is the New Year's Business Planning Workshop which as the name suggests is all about helping you set your business plans and goals at the new year. Most people use New Year's time as the you know restart new year for their business to follow along with tax years. And it's the perfect time to reevaluate your business progress and goals and set new goals and start planning for the year ahead. So that workshop is all about how to do that process. 
The third bonus masterclass is planning for a successful holiday promotion. Most of us know and understand that Q4, the holiday season, October, November, December, is one of the most lucrative times for most businesses. So no matter what business you have, what you sell, or if you perhaps do not sell anything of your own, you can absolutely learn the strategies for making the best use of this time of year that can be so lucrative for growth and sales for most brands and businesses. And then finally, you will also get a bonus masterclass on styled stock photography. So this is a workshop that walks you through seven photographic assets that you will need for your brand and business to help your brand stand out online. Now, I'd like to share with you who Empire Building was created for, because I really did create Empire Building for a very specific type of person. I created Empire Building for an aspiring online business owner who has a lot of questions about starting a business online, what type of business to start, what platforms to use, how e-commerce works, and so much more. So if that sounds like you, Empire Building has those answers. I also created Empire Building for an online business owner who isn't sure how online marketing works, what you do to get followers, what sorts of products or services you should offer, and how you actually get people to purchase them. If that sounds like you, Empire Building has those answers. And finally, I created Empire Building for an online business owner who doesn't have a lot of money to invest in custom websites, business assets, and marketing materials, and just wish they had the knowledge and skills to DIY these key elements for themselves. If that sounds like you, Empire Building has those answers. So you might be wondering, how is the content delivered? Empire Building has a dedicated course website with videos for each module, downloadable PDF workbooks with worksheets and activities, and direct links to additional resources. It is completely on demand, available 24-7, so an internet-enabled device is required, but if you're watching this training today, I think you've got that covered. You get access for the life of the program. You also have the ability to download the workbooks and keep those forever, so you always have this information. Now, for legal purposes, I guarantee that you will get access to the course and technical support from me for a minimum full year from the date of purchase. And again, like I mentioned, you will have the ability to download the workbooks and keep those forever, so you really do have the core content of the course for the rest of your life. Now I'd like to talk about what you do not get in the course. I think this is really important to be very clear about what you're not going to get in Empire Building. Empire Building is not a course that will only teach you how to create a business similar to mine. I realize I have a very specific type of online business that doesn't interest everyone, but that's the beauty of online business. You can really create a business personalized to your skills and goals. There are a variety of online business types and each have distinct strategy and all of those are included from product-based businesses, services, coaches, influencers, writers, artists, and so much more. So no matter what type of business you're interested in starting, Empire Building has the tools, strategies, and skills that you'll need in order to bring that to fruition. Empire Building does not teach you about buying followers or likes to create a false image. This is fraud. I'm sure you've come to understand that when it comes to online business, not all that glitters is gold. There are a lot of people out there online who use fraudulent or deceptive practices to build their brands and businesses. I am not one of them. I do not ever advise or support strategy that includes unethical practices, get-rich-quick schemes, or promises of significant overnight growth. Not only are these practices wrong, but they are ineffective and highly risky to a brand or business. And finally, Empire Building does not prompt you to pay for more additional resources and classes once you're in. I know some online courses open their doors with very competitive introductory pricing schemes and serve you some basic information, and then once you get started, they immediately start upselling you to more valuable information. I don't follow this model. Once you pay for Empire Building, you get all of the information, tools, and strategy up front and any additions to the course at no cost. 
You saw earlier all those bonuses you get with the course. Each of those were tools I made and added to the course over time to provide additional value and strategy for my students. No one ever had to pay more to get them after their initial purchase. So now what is the investment for empire building and all this great information, tools, and strategy? Well, the retail price of the course is $4.97, but, and this is a big but, if you're watching this video training and have made it this far, it clearly means you are in need of this information and serious about getting the right tools for your business. I would love to welcome a serious and highly motivated entrepreneur like you into empire building, and I believe your initiative should be rewarded. So I would like to offer you a special discount price available for a limited time of over 50% off for subscribers only. To access the private sales page, click the link for the free download and other goodies and enter your name and email. You'll be redirected to a landing page with this video training, the PDF download, and a button for Empire Building. If you signed up for the download earlier, you may already be on this page or should have an email from me in your inbox with the direct link. Click that link or button to view the limited time discount price on the course. And from there, you can add the course to your cart, check out using PayPal. You don't need to have a PayPal account, remember, and then you'll be redirected back to my shop where you can download the welcome letter for Empire Building that explains how you create your login and access for the course website. The course website is not the same as the shop, so don't forget to download that PDF because it has all the directions you need for accessing the course on demand. You will also be emailed the download link in your receipt invoice automatically from the shop. So welcome to Empire Building. Inside the course, you will find a welcome tab where you can select getting started to watch your welcome video that explains how the site works and my recommendations for working through the course. Here you will also get a course checklist, resource guide, and other goodies to make the most of the course. As an Empire Building student, you'll be able to contact me directly with questions and I'll be able to provide technical support for you with the course and extra guidance as needed. Let's get started building your business together. If you have any questions about this video, please leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have questions about Empire Building, I would love for you to email me directly so I can better serve you. My email will be down below. And of course, if you signed up for the sales info, you will have some emails from me that you can hit reply to to reach out to me. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.